What's up, RBG fan band? Welcome back to a brand new vlog. Woo, we look so much wider. We I got, like it. <laughs> we got a brand new lens, guys. We're super stoked about it. That way it captures more of the moment, more of the side to side, more of the RBG, more that you love. <laughs> you dork. If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button, answer on those post notifications so you get notified every time we upload a brand new vlog like this one. We are the RBG fam. My name is Robert, AKA ODM. Hi, Vanessa, AKA The High And we got the kids in the back. We got Elijah, we got Layla, and today we are off to Brothers Birthday Dinner. Yay, my brother is 24 today. And you know what that means? It makes me feel old. <laughs> <laughs> you look sexy, baby. You look fine for your age. You don't look a day over 21, baby. Okay. So guys, we just pulled up to the gas station right now. I want to get some gas. We're going to go to dinner. And can you guess what we're going to eat? Can you guess? Can you guess? Sure Where do we always go? For our birthdays, for our holidays, for our Valentine's If you guys are a true <laughs> RBG fam, you guys will know where we're going to dinner right now. Let's just leave it like that and drop a comment below right now. All right, so after we eat dinner, where are we going? The pumpkin patch. Ghost. Close. The door just closed by itself. <laughs> All right, fam bam. So we put air in the tire. Check. Got some gas. Check. Um, so we are gonna head to dinner. See you guys there. All right, guys. So we just pulled up to our favorite spot, Shogun. I think I'm gonna get a sushi roll this time because I always get the Japan grill. But I've been craving sushi, so. Okay. There's a birthday boy. Yeah. What up, though? Happy birthday. What's up, homie? What's up, homie? What's up, Bessie? Mike. There's the man with the credit card right there. Yeah. Woo! Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Alright, hi, Mom. Hey, Pops. Hi, Mom. I knew it tasted better because it was free. Shout out to my father-in-law who got my wife's food and my mom got mine. Our family loves us. They do love us. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Oh man, my 40 ounce, thanks bro. Ah, we love my 40. Milk. We forgot it. <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta travel with this uh, milk pack still, you guys. Elijah's addicted to almond milk and if we don't have it, I'm screwed. That's like his liquid crack. Hey man, I got no that pictures, five old double no up. Pictures, I got no that five old double up, homie. Wait, come on, pocket tax. Are you excited? Yeah. How excited are you? One to ten. One to ten. <laughs> <laughs> How about one or ten? How much are you excited? Um, one and two. <laughs> <laughs> As he mentioned, we're going to the pumpkin patch right now. We're full. We're gonna do some walking. Yes. And go jump on a goat. <laughs> go. <laughs> Okay guys, we just pulled up right here at the pumpkin patch. Kids are excited, Elijah's excited, I'm pop. Elijah's been ex excited since I told him this morning. That's all I was hear hearing all day. This is um, Ace's first time at the pumpkin patch. What? The pumpkin's first time at the pumpkin patch? Yay! He's the great pumpkin. <laughs> this is my mom's first time ever at the pumpkin patch with her grandson, right? Right, first time. Yeah, hi baby, it's our first time. Oh, All right guys, for those that are new to our channel, we've actually uh, posted a couple times, one of our very first videos 
was a pumpkin here. patch. Didn't we just react to it? That's yeah, we did. All right, guys. So, One oh, it's they so basically it's ran out of printer ink because uh, Jaime bought the whole thing. Jaime yeah. decided to like shut down the whole uh, pumpkin patch. <laughs> One and two. Vanessa, it's, it's kind of hard. Oh hell no! Delilah are on this roller coaster and the guy that's running it is like letting them just go and go and go because there's nobody else in line and the kids are so funny because I think they're looking at it like uh this is right over yet <laughs> but they're like enjoying it at the same time they have like this weird look on their face like um this is fun but we keep on going <laughs> 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 Crazy fan bam, like this whole place has changed. Which is good, man. You want to change every year. You don't want it the same. You want to get on? It's so cool. Like nobody here, man. This is really cool. And it's such nice weather out right now. Perfect time to be at the pumpkin patch. Indeed. All right, fan bam. So Elijah and Delilah are getting on the tractors. And we came in. Elijah couldn't reach the pedal. Thankfully, um, the guy that worked here helped him push the whole freaking ATV. I felt so bad, but I think he's big enough to like push himself. Let's see. Oh, yay! Oh, shoot. Elijah, be careful, buddy. <laughs> the giant size elote. Where's the tahini? Here, you do the rest. We're going to take a picture of you. Oh! <laughs> Damn, you better come off that. Hey, he said, that's my shogun. What is that? my hand, it's all dirty. Oh, dang. There's something strange about this one right here. Looks like a leopard pig. It's a leopard in disguise. There we go. <laughs> Come on. Big booty. <laughs> oh. Come on. <laughs> really? We need to throw some hay on that slide. <laughs> no, it's really. She says the green one barely goes. Oh, the green one's faster? Wait. Man, mom over here all tired already. Yeah, I just watch the kids have fun, that's all. Better them than me to come down that big slide. I want to see Vanessa go up it though. I went on last year and I literally almost had a heart attack. It wasn't like this last year. It was like really steep and really fast and I almost died. Do you need help? Yeah, I want my tickets back. <laughs> <laughs> Hit the thumbnail. <laughs> bam bam. Is it me? Oh, that tank needs to be clean. You can't even see the goldfish in it. I don't know much about goldfish, but I do know that tank is blurry. It's like somebody poured a bunch of dirty toilet water in there. But that's just me. All right, fam bam, so it's a wrap. Great day at the pumpkin patch. Got on a few rides, kids had fun. But of course, this is the face you gotta deal with when you're leaving. <laughs> you have fun, Pop? <laughs> on that note. Told you, we'll catch you back at the patch. All right, fam bam, so we are back home now from the pumpkin patch. We are all tired, I'm ready to shower and go to bed. But we wanted to <laughs> share something with you guys. Um, something that happened last week with Layla while she was at school. Um, it was, I think it was like last Tuesday. Um, Layla, I was sleeping because I had to work that night and Layla calls me from this number. I don't know who it is. So then she texts me, mom, it's me. <laughs> I'm calling from, or I'm calling from Claire's phone. I'm like, oh crap, what's going on? So I call right away, mom, oh my God, someone, someone stole my phone. I can't find my phone. I'm like, oh, I didn't know what to think at first. Girl, you told me you went back to bed. I actually did go back to bed because I had to work. So I was sleeping. <laughs> She didn't even care. And then I called Robert and I told him, babe, Layla lost her phone because he was going to pick her up after school. Make sure when you pick her up after school, you need to go to the office. You need to find out what's going on with the phone. Okay. So by the time two o'clock came around, I turned on her location. I tried to look, I tried to find her again on my phone and someone turned her phone on. And I already, already thought in my head, dude, like we can literally, I'm going to follow this person. Like we can follow this person. He doesn't end up picking her up. 
Robert ends up following this person. All right, so I'm picking up the kids from school right now, and it's Layla. Layla tells her from her, she calls her from her friend's phone and says someone stole their phone from her backpack. Her phone's now turned on, which it was turned off before. I was able to find her on the Find, find My Friends app, and her phone is literally about 300 feet away. So somebody's got her phone. I'm en route right now to go, go find whoever it is. But, oh, are you coughing it up? You off campus now, so... Let's go get this, let's make it easy, let's make it peaceful. While he was following the phone, I ended up going to get Layla and her friend from school. And I walked up to the school, walked in the office, my adrenaline's pumping like, where my daughter's phone at? Damn, calm down. <laughs> One of the counselors there um, was like, honestly, there's really nothing we can do at this point. Unless you can find the phone, find who took it, then we can um, you know, dis do disciplinary action. I was like, well, you know, we found the phone right here. My fo my husband's following them right now. Yeah. She was like, please call the, please don't go to a residence. Please make sure you call the cops. And I was like, trust me, I already know. It's, it's a little too dangerous. All right, fam bam, so here's what's going on. Officer's here, I'm following him to the residence. We're pulling up, hopefully we're just gonna go in, grab the phone, everything will be good. We'll let you know what happens. Well, she ended up finding the address, finding the person that lived there, calling the mom, left a message for the mom. The mom called back saying that this person accidentally grabbed the wrong phone, <laughs> which is a lie because Layla does not take her phone out in class unless she is allowed to, and she still doesn't because she doesn't like to get in trouble. She's a big chicken. She's a really good girl. She follows the rules. So she don't even talk on camera. She Look. barely even talks. She doesn't talk at school at all. To the matter, she has no voice, guys. This is just <laughs> outer part. She doesn't speak. A lot of you guys are probably wondering, where did they steal it at? Yes. How did they take it? What happened? Well, Layla, where do you keep your phone? I kept it in my front pocket. Of her backpack. Right? So you can easily unzip it and just grab your phone, right? Okay, so that means somebody must have either saw her on the phone or just randomly were going through bags. And I was like, Layla, did, you have PE, you know, second, third period. Yeah. Did maybe somebody could, I mean, when I was in school, they used to go through our lockers. I mean, it's easy to break in people's lockers. So I, there's why I asked you, do you guys have lockers? Yeah. PE you do, but you guys don't have them outside of PE, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do they hang their bags in your classrooms? And you said? Under my seat. Under your seat. Do you ever put it like on the side of your seat? And first period, I put it on the back of my chair because there's no one sitting behind me. What if somebody like walks behind you during your first period and like it's, unzipped it or something? It's too close to the wall. It, is it? Okay. So, so what happened when the sheriff came? So basically the sheriff met me there. Finally, he was like, look, man, we're gonna go around the corner. We're gonna go up to the porch, just chill right there. And, uh, and I'll let you know what happens. Say, cool. So I'm standing in the street. He goes up to the porch. A woman comes out and, and a boy, a teenager. He starts talking to them. And while I'm sitting there, another lady comes up. She drives up, gets out of her car, and starts walking to the house. She comes to me. She goes, um, what's, what's, what's going on here? And I'm like, oh, I guess this officer's just having some words. I says, do you live here? She goes, yeah. And I says, okay, well, I think he wants to talk to you. So she went up there. And then right away, she exchanged some words with the officer and she turned around, she goes, I don't have any daughters. Like, like I ain't nothing to do with this. She must have lived in the back house or something, you know. A girl, a young girl comes out about Layla's age and then she has the phone in her hand. So then what she does is basically hands it over to the officer because the officer told her this, look man, we could either do it two ways. Because they either, were trying to deny it, right? Saying they didn't have it Yeah, they were like, well, like you said earlier, the boy had already said, oh, that's, that's my mom's phone and this and that, yeah. and then later on changed the story. When she came out, he ratted her, his cousin out or whatever, or his sister, whoever that was, and that's why she came out, and the officer was like, look, either you can give up the phone now, the man just wants his phone back, yeah. or it becomes a felony, and you know you get charged $1,000 within 24 hours. So she ended up coughing up the phone. We get back in the car, we start heading home. Vanessa calls me and says, I just talked to the school. They called the house yeah. around that same time just now. And the mom goes, or grandmother, whoever answers, asked the daughter right there, did you take somebody's phone? And she was like, no, I, I thought it was mine. She I took it by accident. Yeah. And even the student advisor, she was like, kind of like, yeah, I don't think it was an accident. So at this point, I don't know if this person um, was disciplined at school. I'm just happy that we got the that we got Layla's phone back. Yeah, because um, they asked me if I wanted to press charges. Like, I don't want to do no, all that. Just, I just want the phone back. 
That's all. I think the fact that you went and then the sheriff showed up, like, I'm sure hopefully she would have gotten in trouble by her mom because if that was my kid stealing someone's phone. Take, you know, uh, responsibility for your child. Yeah. Reprimand them if something like that happens. Like, I get it. Kids steal. I used to steal when I was a kid. You know, I learned the hard way. And I'm, <laughs> I'm not glorifying that, but I understand. I get it. People, they're envious. Yeah. Or, or they're going to want what, what they don't have. So they're going to steal. I mean, and especially 7th grade, 8th Seven? grade. It's that's so when bad. they start getting sticky fingers. So anyway, guys, we just wanted to we just wanted to share that story because yeah. we felt like you know maybe some of you could relate. Maybe your child has had something stolen from them. What did you do about it? Yes, Drop us a comment us below and how did you handle the situation? Did we handle the situation right? I think if you didn't and would you would have went, they would obviously denied it. You would not have gotten the phone back, right. and you could have maybe even gotten a fight or something bad could have happened. Who knows? The old me, I would have went out there and just... Shoot, know. the old me too, I'd be like, oh hell no, <laughs> give me my daughter's phone right now. Come out, yeah. come out. <laughs> I mean, we just have a lot more on our plates, you know. As yeah, definitely. And uh, so anyway, with that being said, guys, uh, what lesson learned, I think, for all of us. She and doesn't keep her phone in her front pocket. It's yeah. somewhere else hidden. Pretty yeah. good. <laughs> By the way, she did, she gained good grades, so I want to give yeah. her props. So we want her to keep that momentum. We don't want no distractions, but it's tough, guys, in this day and age. We get it as parents. Thank you for taking the time to watch it if you made it through the whole vlog. All right, we do need to give our post notification shout out, and that goes to Yesenia Villafan. I hey. said that right. Shout out to you, girl. Thank you so much for watching our vlogs. We love you for that. If you guys would like a post notification shout out, all you guys got to do is one, Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Tube, 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 tube channel. <laughs> Two, what? hit that little bell button so that way every time we post, you guys will get notified. And when you're done, just comment down below. Hashtag, Hashtag done. done. Till the next time, fam, bam. Have yourself a great night, day, morning, whenever you're watching this. We love you. Remember that. And guys, we're on the road to 50K. Come on, man, subs. We love Gotta you guys. Bye. Go, go.